Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. In today's video, we are going to be talking about five such succulents that tend to propagate or multiply at a very faster rate. But guys, again, it completely depends upon your environment and climate. But as compared to other succulents, these are quite fast. Now, either these can be multiplied via leaf propagation or by stem cuttings. So if you are a person who is planning to start a succulent business in future, probably you can get these succulents and start multiplying them either with leaf propagation or by stem cuttings. Now, uh, some of the succulents I will definitely show you along with the uh, cuttings or the leaf propagation if I have done that because some of the succulents I haven't propagated yet but the ones that I have done I will definitely show you the side by side video comparison as well. So the first one that we are going to start off is my all time favorite which is the Graptopetalum purple delight. It can be easily propagated via stem cutting as well as leaf propagation. Now this was the oldest leaf propagation that I had done. You can see the leaves are all propagated. All the pups look very healthy, very compact and in fact I have a very good success rate with them. And this one was the recent one that I had done. I think I might have shown a video on it. You can see all of them are looking very healthy. Uh, probably one or two leaves uh, that were uh, slightly dehydrated at the initial stage they did not make it but rest of them have a very good uh, compact pup on them so as you can see with one little plant you can multiply so many obviously it's going to take a very long time but we still have a good success rate we do have uh, some extra succulents that are growing at the back the next one on the list we have is Graptosedum ghosty now as you can see the plant itself looks absolutely beautiful it has this beautiful thick leaves as and when you give a good amount of light it even gets this pastel pink color now even this one is very easy to propagate via leaves I have done a propagation earlier I'll put the video clip on the screen and as you can see uh, very well all of the leaves had got propagated but unfortunately because of the rains you might have seen most of them had got damaged but they can very easily get propagated via leaves but what I usually tend to prefer is to do a stem cutting now these are all of the stem cuttings that i had done and which are very successful as you can see the amount of uh, cuttings that i had prepared and all of them are doing excellent so just with one plant you can get so many of those cuttings or leaf propagation everything tends to work out really well so what i've noticed is uh, the success rate with leaf propagation is also fantastic if you tend to put uh, 10 leaves all of the 10 leaves or probably 9 out of 10 leaves will propagate and put out a very healthy pup that easy this succulent is so if you want to add this in your collection and you want to increase your collection then this is one of the succulent and trust me guys it looks absolutely beautiful when it is exposed to light it gets a very pastel pink in color right now because of the painting most of my succulents were in indirect bright light so all of the colors are missing on my succulent and this is another graptosedum uh, ghosty that i had kept in this arrangement uh, it was getting morning direct sunlight so you can see it still has a lot of those pastel pink colors it also has those beautiful chiseled design on the leaves which tends to make the succulent even more beautiful so if you want to increase your collection so this is the second succulent that you can multiply either by a stem cutting or by leaf propagation. Both the methods are going to work fantastic. The third one on the list is uh, Graptopetalum paragonis or also called as the ghost plant. Now as you can see it looks quite similar to Graptosedum ghosty and a lot of times uh, it is confused. One is because the leaves also tend to look very similar and the name ghost and ghosty also tends to confuse a lot of people. But this is called as the Graptopetalum paragonis, the ghost plant or also called as the mother pearl plant. I'm not very sure if that is the um, common name that is being used in the nursery but it's also called as the mother pearl uh, because uh, when this succulent is exposed to a lot of light it gets a very silvery uh, purple stone to it uh, and it tends to grow really fast so if you want another succulent that can grow really fast do a stem cutting do a leaf propagation both are going to work out really well it tends to propagate very easily just like the graptosedum ghosty the rate of success with leaf propagation is also quite good uh, I don't have any leaf propagation currently but I can definitely search for an image and put it on the right hand side uh, I had done this very long time back in fact I had not taken out the leaves on purpose of doing a leaf propagation but when I had received the plants a lot of the leaves were broken and I was quite surprised that just within a week's time it started to put out pups so it's very fast with leaf propagation as well as stem cutting so you can add this one as well in your list 
The fourth one on the list is my all-time favorite once again. It is Graptoveria Marpin. Now, guys, if you do not have this succulent in your collection, you are missing out on a very beautiful succulent, which is very, very easy to care. I've already made a video on it. If you haven't watched that video, I'll put the link in the description below. This succulent can be easily propagated via stem cuttings or leaf propagation. Again, just like other succulents, the success rate on Graptoveria Marpin is very high. You almost tend, if you tend to put 10 leaves for propagation in most cases like 99% all the 10 leaves will give you pups provided you give the basic care requirements and you have a proper environment all the 10 leaves will tend to put out pups in fact a lot of times if the leaf also tends to fall in by mistake if the leaf tends to fall in the pot it immediately starts to put out roots and pups it's that easy so again if you are a person who is going to create more succulents in future in order to create a business this is another variety you can add and you can start multiplying or propagating this succulent the next one on the list is Graptosedum francisco baldi just like other succulents it's a super easy to grow succulent my succulent was doing quite well but during the renovation one of the painters knocked it off and you can see the original stem happened to break i just put the cutting back into the soil and it's doing quite well so it is one of the most easiest succulent that you can grow or you can multiply so this can be either multiplied via stem cuttings or leaf propagation leaf propagations are very successful i would say around 90 percent of success rate so this is one of the succulent that you can add in your collection if you want to multiply succulents faster it tends to grow super fast please don't go according to the color it is completely bland it's completely faded off because of indirect bright light but the colors on this succulent is very very vibrant it has a very uh, purplish there are so many colors on this i can't even explain to you if i find an image of it online i will definitely share it on the screen but it gets very very beautiful when it tends to grow in a bunch it is kind of a trailing succulent as soon as it starts to get mature the stem starts to get a little bit longer and then the crown area is where there is a lot of color on the succulent it looks absolutely beautiful you can put it in an arrangement you can put it in a hanging planter it looks absolutely beautiful so this is another succulent that you can add in your collection now guys as i said i'm going to share five of them but as you have stayed so far in the video i'll give you a six succulent as well that can be propagated very easily and that is our graptoveria titubans i have couple of them you might have also seen the leaf propagation video the entire playlist so from the time i started with the leaf propagation plucking off uh, the leaf from the mother plant until transferring the pup to another pot i have made the entire playlist if you haven't watched that i will put that link as well in the description below you can check it out so graptoveria titubans is the last one that is going to propagate there are many more but these are the top uh, six i would say that are going to do very well if you are planning to increase your collection very fast i have two over here and i have another two over here so they are doing excellent uh, they are also accompanied with my Graptosedum uh, Ghosty. You can see the colors are more visible over here compared to the other pots. So these are also very, very easy. Uh, again, I have another Graptosedum Ghosty over here. This is Pink Rosa. A little bit damaged because of the sun, but it's doing excellent. So this is another Graptosedum Ghosty. So these are mostly uh, the Graptoveria or the Graptosedum varieties uh, because they tend to multiply uh, via stem cuttings and leaf propagations much faster compared to any other succulents. I haven't added much of echuarias because echuarias can take a very long time. Uh, apart from that, a lot of the echuarias do not have a very strong stem system. They are more closer to the ground like uh, this one very closer to the ground so of course you cannot do a stem cutting the only option is a leaf propagation uh, echuaria leaf propagation takes a very long time so that's why i haven't added any of the echuarias in our uh, quick uh, propagation video so these are all of those succulents that you can propagate at a much faster rate so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating